So we have decided to build a chicken coop here on our farm, centrally located next to the office, between the greenhouse and the middle of the flower fields. It's a multi-use facility. And we were thinking of what can we do that's unique? And so voila, we ordered a grain bin, which is rare in Georgia. But we're gonna show you some of the reasons why we did this and what we have in store. Many of you love construction projects. We're here in the middle of construction. I got holes in my shirt. We got PVC glue out as we're starting to put in irrigation. We have an empty diesel can as we were filling up on Saturday and knee mats, et cetera. But uh, without further ado, let's show you our new build and where we're gonna take it. So the great thing about having a grain bin is the look, simply put. You've seen the ceiling, you see the authentic hatch where normally someone would come in and they'd get down in the grain bin with their safety. Um, this is a 30 foot diameter bin, so it's 770 feet uh, of, of floor area and it could have gone level up, level up, level up. We only ordered one ring as you see this ring around it and we put in large eight by eight pressure treated posts to get it up off the ground. They are about two feet in the concrete and concreted in. So it's a very strong and steady thing. Otherwise this would be like a giant kite and pull up. So as you can see, this is gonna be multi-purpose. We're about to landscape out here in the back. We've got our, our flower fields across. We've got a little really horrible looking lined pond at the moment, but you'll see the after. Hopefully in a few months it'll look great. But we decided to put up a wall and have it tie in so that we could separate. You know, we're going um, party in the front, business in the back. We're the opposite of a mullet here. So the reason we put up this wall was to have our chicken coop and tool storage in the back. Now the great thing about this wall, and it's one of my favorite things throughout our farm, is when we bought this farm, we not, had to knock down a lot of trees. And they're big, beautiful trees. Some were pine, some were oak, a lot were poplar. And so we hired a guy to come in and mill all the wood. And it's just been sitting down curing in the pole barn. Some of it went to a kiln, but that that didn't has just been sitting in the pole barn under stickers. And so we've used this wood, which was, could have been right here where we stand, and it just gives some authenticity to the farm. So come on back through the door, and we'll see what we got going on. Now the first thing is most of you will be excited about is our future chicken coop. And this is a very bougie coop. So we've got a good little screen door on it. We're gonna walk on in. And they will have plenty of space back here. So this is a very cool way to come and see it. They've got their nesting box, which we'll talk about in future episodes, but this is from Best Nest. Uh, great idea, we love it. The, we will build them stairs to walk up. They'll roost on the coop. They can lay in here and we can catch it on the other side. We'll see that in a second too. And then we have it completely closed off. We will put fans in here to circulate air, yes. We wanna make sure in this Georgia heat that they can regulate their temperatures and cool, cool down so we're gonna have airflow um, like, so they'll be used to it. And then we got a little very secured coop door that we will close every night. So they've got ample space in here uh, to be chickens and we hope to put in chicken cams so be on the lookout for the chicken cam here in the future. So as we walk back through the door to separate it out, we've got a storage room. Now, storage is key on any farm. We believe in mise en place, mise en place, mise en place. Basically, everything has its place. And we're always not great about it, but as long as that's one of our key practices as a farm, we're gonna make sure we stay after it from day one. So that's a French cooking term that means everything has a place plan and placement. So we'll have shelves in here for rakes, shovels, and irrigation equipment. So let's take on a look outside in the back. So as we begin to walk out the door, a little bit hazardous at the moment, we just put in an irrigation line on Saturday and we've yet to tap it in and backfill it, but it's gonna rain this afternoon, so I gotta get on this project. But we love this. 
because it comes out directly into our garden area. And the great thing about that is, is we're really close and we can operate in and out. We will in the future have a chicken yard over here. So the idea is to put a fence in and separate the chickens from the rest of the garden. We'll turn them out there if we want to, but then they can easily get back into their coop area. So if you look back in the future coop to be, we will have, this is where we saw a minute ago, this is where an outdoor door will go to secure them in every night. And they'll be inside this area, which is roughly 40 by 20, 20 feet this way and 40 foot this way. Uh, they'll have fencing up, they'll be secured. The fences will be buried. So foxes cannot, a fox couldn't get in, a coyote couldn't get in. We will also have overhead netting because this farm is loaded with hawks. In fact, hawks love to sit up on the top there and overlook the whole farm. So they know where the chickens are gonna be, so we'll make sure that we secure them with overhead netting. If we take a look over here, one of the big things we're working on right now is irrigation. Um, we believe in the conservation of water, but if you have birds and animals and plants, you have to have water at all times. So we're fortunate enough to have equipment to make digs. Um, we hit a water line on Saturday to put the power line up underneath it, but we've got a cross irrigation line and our main water line supply coming back through here. So it's kind of a challenging thing, but we're gonna glue it up. And the goal here is for all of this to be landscaped well into the pond and the fence covering from that post up to this corner. And this is where the chicken coop is going to be and reside. So as you can see, what we're trying to do and what we're bringing to the farm in the future, this is our grain bin, coop, garden shed that we hope to have a lot of events in the future, great agritourism and education for the young ones to see what farming is somewhat about on a small hobby farm homestead scale.